Okay, here's my little project for today. I bought about 50 pounds of Black Angus Chuck Roast on sale for $2.39 a pound, Crosby Super Value. And, uh, matter of fact, Walmart comps prices, so they had a little nicer looking ones, so I made them comp the price, which they did. And I got about 50 pounds I bought. And what I'm doing is trimming this. I'm going to can it today. I'm trimming some of the little fattier pieces off here, which I'm going to grind up later for hamburger. But I'm trimming off a little of the leaner pieces. And my canner right here, this is one of the old style ones, but what's nice about this, see this baby does not have a rubber seal. It's metal to metal, made by All-American, made in Wisconsin. And we know everything good comes from Wisconsin. Green Bay Packers, pressure cookers, you know. Anyway, getting back to this. This little puppy is a pretty good size. I bought this from my neighbor, whose wife said she was scared of it. Good for me, because this is about a $200, these are about 200 bucks new. And I love this thing. It'll do, well, I got eight. It'll do 16 pints out of whack. That's a pretty good chunk. So I'm going to trim all these up, and I'll shoot a little video later on in progress. I'm going to fill all these, and then I'm going to put just a little liquid to bring up to the bottom of the rim here. But what I'm going to do, and this is some killer stuff, better than bullion beef base. You always want to buy a good beef base. Don't buy that stuff with the dextrose and the sugar, salt, and all that crap. Always look. Your first ingredient should be beef. First ingredient should be beef. Yep. Anyway, that's what you want to use for beef. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on top of each one. Bring up the liquid a little bit so the meat don't stick out. Get a brownish color. It doesn't hurt anything, but just for eye appealing. And when I want some hot beets or a beef sandwich or beef stroganoff or whatever, just dump out one of these pints and I'm ready to go. I'm going to do some chili. I'm going to grind up just some hamburger. And I'm going to have the wife season it with taco meat seasoning and fry it up and can that too. That way when you want tacos, you take a pint out, heat it up by the time you're heating it up. In the microwave, you grab a taco shell and some cheese, and bingo, you're eating tacos right now. So the grandkids can handle doing that. Anyway, I'll shoot a video later here on uh, the canning process once I got her going. Yeah, another little trick, uh, or not a trick, but I got these cannon jars at Walmart. They have their own cannon jars. Pretty good deal. The curves and the balls are like, for 12, it's like 10 bucks for the lids and caps with it, you know. Well, these are like six fifty, and you get all the the caps and the lids with it, you know, that come with it. That's cheap, and then I get ten percent discount because I worked her off too. So I'm getting them for under five bucks. I mean, that under six bucks. That's cheap. Another little trick I found out too. I bought. Uh, I wanted something to loosen the air bubbles, you know. So I got the, you get a hundred these bamboo screw, uh, skewers or whatever you call them. For 99 cents. So what I do is I just take it and I run it around the edge, and just point it and around the edge, and it gets loosens all the air bubbles and and, and stuff. When you get done, just throw the dang thing away. I mean, you can do a hundred cannon jobs. So uh, anyway, just a little trick on there. We got our beef bullion, uh, better than bullion beef base on top, and a little water, and I just fill it up to the bottom of the rim. It's a lot for expansion, and we're going to get these loaded up in the canner. I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar. I know a little trick is put a little vinegar in there. That way you don't get cloudy jars before you fill it up with your water, in case you have hard water. So I'm just going to put a little of that. I'm going to fill the water in the canner up the bottom level. I have two layers of jars in there to about here. So you don't want to run out of water when you're canning. You know, this is going to be 70 minutes because it's pints at 11 pounds. Uh, my area, it's a little higher because I'm at 13, 1,400 feet, so I'm going to do it. It'll be mine instead of 12 pounds. I'll just run mine at 15 pounds. That'll cover it for 70 minutes.
shut her up and let her go. Anyway, we'll get her all loaded up and going. I'll be back. Well, now we got a steady stream of pressure coming out of the vent here. And we want to let that vent for 10 minutes. Then we'll shut it and bring the dial up to 15 pounds and hold it there for 70 minutes. Then we'll check our results later. Okay, this is batch two cooking in here. Waiting for the steam to come out of the top. I was going to shoot it and I forgot. So I got another batch of 16 jars in there. Here's what we did get though. There we go. Lip smacking, tummy humming, delicious roast beef canned up. 16 pints, 16 more in the canner. Pop that open. Ready to eat hot beefs or beef sandwiches or anything. And I got some water getting ready to boil. I'm going to skin these tomatoes and we're going to whip up some of this salsa. And this stuff is good. If you've never tried Mrs. Wages, they got killer stuff. Everything I've tried, I really love. This is a salsa mix. They got, this is what I use for my pickles. Kosher dill. Kosher dill pickles. Everything's in there. I throw a hot pepper in each one. And then they got all kinds of different stuff. Here's a habanero salsa. Jalapeno salsa. Here's a chipotle and garlic salsa. I mean, come on. They got everything. They got bread and butter pickles. Where's the bread and butter pickles? I mean, they got about every kind a mix. Guacamole. I mean, you name it. If you go on their site, just go on to MrsWages.com and you'll see everything they got. But anyway, a few things starting to get loaded up here. Here's uh, all them up there. Some jelly, homemade ketchup I made in the back. There's my nice spear pickles. Getting a few of them. See, I'm getting some. I'm going to make a bunch more in the morning. But uh, anyway, that's, that's it on the cannon deal. 16 more coming. Waiting for the steam to come out the old thing there, and I'll flip it and wait for 15 pounds to start counting. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Larry up and Brandon. Oh, just one quick last thing I got to show you. Here's my tomato berries. Got a whole tub of them. These are going to be going to be some uh, sauce. I'm gonna make some sauce, tomato sauce, out of them puppies. I run them in the blender. Green them out, get the seeds and skins, and cook them down. You got some good, good stuff. Anyway, Larry and Brainerd, ciao.